Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. I'm James Spann. This is the Weather Extreme video for Thursday morning, the 17th of January. A little snow today, getting everybody excited. Let's get in there and talk about it. Uh, we'll start with some of the Skycam shots uh, around the network and some shots from the Span Twitter Army. Uh, that's a look at downtown Columbus, Mississippi. That was captured at 430, and it's predominantly rain, but if you cross over to Starkville, Mississippi, that's what you get. Uh, they've changed over to snow. Starkville's about 30 miles west of Columbus, and uh, there's a good chance by the time you watch this, the changeover will have started in West Alabama. Uh, that is a shot from Philadelphia, Mississippi, uh, captured early this morning in the pre-dawn hours where they've had uh, steady snow. It's snowing in Jackson and all the way back over to the uh, Mississippi Delta region. All right, the upper low is about where it ought to be. Uh, or that, that map shows it around Shreveport. Uh, let's take a, to take a look at the uh, uh, Ruck model, which has it, uh, or actually this is the uh, Rapid Refresh model, which has it near Monroe, early this morning one way or the another it's it's pretty much where it ought to be along interstate 20 and uh, by the time you watch this it will probably be near jackson mississippi and that's going to come right on top of us and again the structure of that so far going pretty much as forecast now you look at that and you think hey it's not cold enough for snow come on uh, but remember this is an upper low it brings its own cold air from above you know, you've got Gadsden and Anniston in the mid-40s, and they're thinking, hey, these guys are crazy. But uh, look over at Jackson. They've got 32, and again, that is dynamic cooling. This thing will bring its own cold air. As the uh, uh, snow changeover occurs, uh, that's when the freezing temperatures at about 5,000 feet, the low-level temperatures will come down. But a key point here, I don't think the surface temperatures go below freezing at all today, and that's the reason I'm not thinking we have a lot of travel problems. The roads are just wet. You can go in about your business today, despite the fact that it will be snowing. Uh, there's a look at the radar composite. That was at 430. And you can see the uh, snow with a cold core affecting much of central Mississippi. And again, that is knocking on the door. That's the radar from Jackson. All of that is snow over in Mississippi. And you can see some heavier snow bands impacting uh, the city of Jackson. Uh, those little uh, fingers We've got the uh, higher reflectivity values. We've got winter storm warnings in effect today through central Mississippi, north central Alabama, extreme north Georgia, not including the Atlanta metro, and then up into uh, much of North Carolina and Virginia as they'll be see the snow after we're finished with it. These are snow probabilities, the chance of greater than one inch of snow. Uh, the numbers are pretty high uh, uh, for uh, north central Alabama, but the big numbers, of course, are north and east of here. Quickly, a peek at some of the models. This is the uh, four-kilometer NAM. Interesting in how it handles things. It's uh, uh, actually got the uh, uh, you know, the snow strip uh, really displaced a little north of Anniston and Gadsden. And again, this could be correct. You know, the, these are very hard to identify. There's the GFS, and uh, that's kind of in line with our forecast. It's got uh, light accumulation almost down to uh, Clanton. Uh, this is the RPM. Looks very similar. Interesting to note that lack of snow over Georgia there, but a good bit over Mississippi and Alabama. And the HRRR, it all looks the same. And I think from looking at all this, we don't need to change that. Uh, for most of north-central Alabama, two inches or less on the grass. Uh, the road's just wet. Don't think we have any big travel problems. In fact, I just don't expect any other than wet roads. We all know we have a lot of wrecks here when, the, when it rains. The roads will be wet. But, you know, this is the kind of thing up north they would just wouldn't even think twice about this kind of thing. Potential for heavier totals mainly across the high terrain of east and northeast Alabama, maybe some two and three inch amounts. And uh, there could be more above 1,500 feet. It'll be fun to watch that Chiha sky cam today. Uh, the snow uh, beginning early this morning in the west, progressing to the east, and everything winds down by mid-afternoon today. So the bottom line is no real change in our thinking here. Uh, this is a look at uh, today at noon. The upper low should be uh, pretty much uh, near or just below Birmingham. And down below that, everything there should be snow. And remember, these are boogers. We've talked about this for days. Our skill level is not that great. These can produce surprises, and I guarantee you this one will. 
the snow will not match our little lines on those maps nicely. There'll be some surprises. Some people won't get much. Some people might get more than you bargained for today. We'll just watch things as it unfolds. And again, it winds down by mid to late afternoon. Uh, tomorrow, the upper low long gone. And down below that, hey, the sun comes back. That's exciting. That'll be uh, that'll be good to see. Uh, we have not. I, I can't recall the last time we had a uh, a day with full sunshine. To go in the the vault, the record vault, to find that out. And uh, we'll probably touch fifty tomorrow after starting the day in the twenties. And again, tomorrow morning, uh, any leftover moisture. There could be a few slick spots on the bridges, but I think most of the moisture will have evaporated by then. Here's a look at Saturday, mid fifties. Yeah. Now we'll start the day at or below freezing, but mid fifties. And Sunday looks good. Uh, it will start to turn a bit colder as cold air advection kicks in. The high will be closer to 50. Now, next week, a trough begins to carve over the east, and there's a 1036 Arctic high that's over the Dakotas. And we've got cold air advection. The 540 line drops down to uh, Huntsville. Uh, the high Monday probably dropping into the uh, uh, low to mid-40s. And again, the GFS is not as cold as the European on Tuesday. That's the GFS. There's the Euro. Even the Euro is a little warmer, but still, it's going to be cold on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, we might bump the numbers up a little bit. You know, for, for a long time, we thought Tuesday, we're not going to get out of the 30s, and that still might be the case. We'll probably put the high close to 40 on Tuesday, but it will be dry. There's no snow mischief here. And uh, the coldest morning, maybe Tuesday morning, Um uh, but it's going to be a hard freeze, I think, both the, uh, really Monday morning, Tuesday morning, and Wednesday morning, all three. Uh, if nothing else, low to mid-20s, colder spots go in the teens. Uh, during the day, Wednesday, we'll start to moderate a little bit. And Thursday of next week, southerly winds kick in. And uh, let's go to the end of next week. Now, this is interesting. The GFS is showing a cold front coming in with good potential for rain and maybe a change over to snow on the back side of this thing. Uh, we'll see, you know, it's, we got a lot of, a lot of time to go before we get there. That's, it's just off into voodoo countries, just beyond uh, seven days, but that's the end of next week. Uh, this is January 29th, another, uh, runner down to the South. That's a mischievous looking deal. And on the 1st of February, same thing, a low in the Gulf. So again, it looks like the weather's going to be kind of cold and unsettled. And for the uh, snow fans and winter weather fans, you'll probably have another chance or two before this month is over based on all that. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock today. And don't forget to watch ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.